High flying state leaders may get their wings clipped. WAND Capitol reporter Doug Wolf is live tonight with more on part of the state's taxpayer financed air fleet now grounded. Doug. Dawn, it's a sign of state government excess. Flying the state's top birds and wild chickens. Tucked out of sight in a hangar at Capitol Airport are some of the state's 22 taxpayer financed aircraft. We have four billion dollars of unpaid bills and we have we're the state with the largest air fleet in the nation. State Representative Bill Mitchell leads the charge to clip the wings of the air fleet which shuttles the state's top leaders and lawmakers. Deadbeat Illinois can't pay its bills but has no problems increasing the air fleet budget. Education uh, is being cut, you know, school payments are light, the state planes had a 35 percent increase. Governor Quinn under election year pressure says he'll now sell nine aircraft. We told you in May planes were being used to transport wild prairie chickens from Kansas to here in Illinois, where the chicken population has dropped since the 1940s. Broke Illinois is flying them back in an executive aircraft. Now that's the real problem I have with that. Mitchell says the governor is taking the right step, telling state employees they can drive or take Amtrak. And as for those prairie chickens, the days of flying first class may be over. They shouldn't be on our aircraft. Should not be. Learn to fly themselves. I, I, I hate to say, I think what they do that aircraft. The annual state aircraft budget isn't exactly chicken feed at $7 million. An $800,000 state of Illinois helicopter is no longer flying after an accident last fall. It crashed in New Mexico trying to avoid a flock of birds. Don? A little ironic, don't you think, Doug?